All right, so just a little bit of a, a thing on the New York stabbing. Uh, in New York, five people last night around 10 p.m. New York time uh, were stabbed and injured in a rabbi's home. The condition of the individuals has not been released yet. Uh, basically, a, a man around 10 p.m. had uh, entered a rabbi's home. They were on the seventh night of Hanukkah celebrating it. Uh, five people were injured. He was chased off. He did try to get into a synagogue as well, but people had barricaded the synagogue. Uh, he was later picked up about two hours later by NYPD. Interestingly enough, how they caught him was using license plate readers going around uh, reading license plates, and they have they can enter in the license plate and they will flag it. Uh, not uh, integral to the story, but it is kind of interesting how they found him. Uh, I don't know. This is the eighth attack this month on Hasidic Jews. If you include October, that would be 18, 19. That would be 19 if you include that shooting where 11 people were killed. Uh, it does seem to be that we hear uh, at this time of year that there are quite a bit more attacks on them. What I say to that is this. If your religion says that you need to hurt, maim, kill, or harm in any way someone else because they are of another religion, then maybe perhaps you should rethink your religion. What sense does it make on a religion? If your religion is so sound and good, why can't your religion rely on its own merits to get people? Why do you have to rely on terror? If you have to rely on terror for your religion, then your religion is wrong. It is in the wrong and is absolutely wrong. Uh, Jonathan, uh, Jonathan Greenblatt, the CEO of the Anti-Defamation League, is asking for increased protection from NYPD. Uh, there's a security group called the Guardian Angels. They're going to do some increased protection. Uh, patrols in the area because of all the attacks. NYPD says that they're going to increase patrols as well. Um, yeah. I never understood that. Like, Christmas Day, uh, ISIS beheaded 12 Christians. Why? Why? What, 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 what purpose does that serve? What does that make your religion look like? Do you think that makes your religion look like, yeah, we're strong. You know, it makes you look like a fool makes you look like your religion is weak. Your religion can't stand on its own merits. You've got to rely on fear. You've got to rely on trying to scare people into your religion. Scare people into staying in your religion. If your religion doesn't have an open door policy where people can come and go as they please without repercussions, then your religion is weak. It can't stand on its own merits. If you can't have people come in and say, oh yeah, I like this, I like this religion, I like their beliefs, I like the people, I like what it stands for, and I'm going to stay just based upon that, and you have to resort to using violence or terror or any other number of tactics to force people in and keep people in, then your religion is weak. It cannot stand on its own merits. And besides... In the Quran itself, it says that Muhammad said that God had told him, Do not touch the Christians, for they are also the people of God. But yet, what do you do? I'm just saying. I didn't say it. The Quran says it. But then that's the thing about religion. Things can be cherry-picked. Things that you want to propagate can be put in and selected in and things that you don't like can be put out and 10 people can read the same verse and get 10 different ideas of what it means. I wish none of this ever happened. I mean, my God, I, 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 I wish we lived in an altruistic society, but we just, we don't. We don't. And here you have one person, most likely for religious reasons, uh trying to break into a synagogue and did get into a rabbi's house during the seventh day of Hanukkah and caused mayhem. For what purpose? What does that make your religion look like? If your God 
or your prophets or your whoever your religious leaders are are telling you that you need to kill people for for or in and or in the name of your religion, your God, your deity, your whatever, then your religion is wrong and it is weak. A strong religion can stand back and say, yeah, look, our actions are going to speak louder than our words and people are going to come here because they know that our religion is good and it's sound and they're going to stay because it's good, not because you force them to, not because you threaten violence, not because you have outward violence. A good religion can stand on its own two legs. Just saying. If you have to resort to violence, you're in the wrong spot. Besides, violence begets violence, which begets violence. You got one religious group that attacks another, another religious group, and that religious group wants retaliation and attacks another religion. It's just... At what point do we say, hey, you know what? Let's cut it out. Let's stop. Let's, uh, let's all just be human beings. Let's get on with life together. I don't care if this person has this religion. As long as they don't mess with me or, or disturb me, what do I care? Right? But violence... You want to resort to violence? Violence is your go-to? Violence is how you're going to represent your cause, your religion? Violence is how you're going to do it? It's, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Anyways, I ranted, ranted on about this long enough. I just... Really? Really? You're going to resort to violence in the name of your religion? Some religion. If you have to resort to violence. And yeah, I know. I know. Hardly near a religion out there that at some point in history hasn't resorted to violence. They're probably all guilty at some point. But times change. Morals are not absolute. Morals are subjective and morals are objective. They change with time. They change with better information, better technology. Back in the day, it was morally correct for the Spartans to throw a child over a cliff if it was deformed. It was morally acceptable. Now it is not. So morals change. Religions can change with morals. As morals change, religions change. So let's drop the past. And yes, perhaps this religion has slighted this religion over here, but let's just drop it and start from a, a square base and quit attacking each other over dumb, stupid stuff. Is that happy Sunday, by the way. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And I thank you guys for your patience while I go through all this uh, hard time. And my uploads are kind of sporadic, but um, we'll get back on track.